Hello and welcome to a new high cut short clip. In this video I would like to introduce you to the new dimension calculation. To do this I first open the configuration editor. There under modeling, then part properties, you will find the required settings. Here at calculate dimensions I change the value to always and activate the sorting of the dimensions. Just try what's best for you. In order for the dimension calculation to also be carried out for sheet metal parts, the dimension may only be transferred to the development attributes, otherwise the calculation is inactive. Now the configuration editor can be closed and HiCut can be restarted once. After restarting HiCut you don't see anything. This is correct because the bounding box is hidden by default. To activate it there is a button for it at the bottom of the toolbar. Alternatively, you can press Shift F1. After the click, the bounding box that surrounds the entire main assembly appears directly. In the corner, the coordinate system and its icon can be seen. The red axis defines the length, the green the width and the blue the height. The dimension is calculated and displayed not only for assemblies but also for individual parts such as solids or sheet metal parts. Of course, this also applies to imported parts such as the handle. In order to understand how and what is transferred, I switch to sheet 2 where the trash can has already been dimensioned. If you open the part attributes of the part, you will find the values of length, width and height in the dimensions. At the beginning of the video you could see that the floor is part of the dimensioning of the main assembly, which of course is not wanted. To correct this, it is possible to add an attribute to the part attribute mask so that the part is ignored during the calculation. At this point I would like to refer to the online help. There is a very good description of which attribute it is and how it is inserted into the mask. If you activate the checkbox, the floor is ignored when clicking on the main assembly. For the floor itself, the dimension is still calculated. If a part occurs several times in the drawing and has been given the same number during itemization, the calculated dimension is automatically transferred to the other parts. You don't necessarily need to reference the part. Finally, I will show you how to set the alignment of the dimension manually. A quick look at the attributes to have a comparison later. In the context menu of the part under properties you will find the function for aligning. In this case I set the alignment via the top side and choose one of the lateral surfaces. The coordinate system and symbol have changed accordingly. Another look at the attributes shows you the effect of alignment. If you like the automatic alignment better you can simply reset the alignment in the same menu. By the way, the alignment can also be determined via the part alignment of the drawing. Again, the coordinate system and the symbol change accordingly. That's it for this HiCut short clip. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun designing with HiCut. See you soon.